Okay, so here we have our red green cards. We have um, Deadshot Minotaur. We have a Pale Recluse and a Nias or Sojourners. I'm thinking a lot of this will table for for me. Um, I like that shot Minotaur easily two for one. Well, not two for one, but um, comes into play, get rid of their flyer. And flying kind of we kind of lose to flying right now, which I guess we could take power recluse. Um, but we have two mana fixing in the obelisk, so we don't need to take the power recluse that high yet. Nice for Jorner seems like an okay card right now. Um, this is easier to play. Um, it's, it's another sort of removal, so I'm okay with taking that over at. Alright, so we have Glory of Warfare. We have, this is a pretty good pack, we have Glossary Pride Mage, we have Colossal Might. Another nice for germs. Colossal Might's just really good. And so is Kosari Pride Mage. Hmm. Capture Sunlight even seems okay with uh, Naya Charm and Holy Thoktar. But kind of misses with other places like Banefire and things. I don't know if we're really playing the aggro route, so. Sorry, Pride Mage and Colossal Might. Well, not even Colossal Might. Sorry, Pride Mage and maybe Night Sojourners or even the Glory of Warfare. Ah, I'm okay with the Glory. Let's let's try out the Glory. It's rare. It's cool. And that's with Hemus Ledge. And I don't really even need to look at the other cards, do I? Ooh, not by Paladin. He's really good. I don't know how good he is in draft. Behemoth Sledge is just, I think, is way better. Because he can just essentially be a 2 do. But you can put this on that guy, and now he's a 4 4. So all of a sudden, my Druid Vianima is a 3 3 with Trample and Lifelink and something to deal with. So that's just, that's a first pickable card. This looks like we're going the green white. Uh, aggro, or maybe not aggro, but green white for sure. Um, not a whole lot to do here. Sigil Behemoth is a six drop, which is okay. John Sojourners is, I like though. Uh, I'll never be able to cast it, I'll always be just using it to cycle. And I I like pinging things, so I'm okay with that pick if I end up taking it. Well, the outburst is not that great, so eh, we'll take this. Alright, so we have Bansher Blade, we have the uh, Border Post. Let me have this guy. The intro blade is just really good, so. Ooh. This is also really good. Because he can get really big. And he's a four drop, so. Uh, I'm okay with Banshee blade, too. Mm. This guy can be really a. A mess, so to reckon with. So we'll give the band player the band true blade. And there's our spellbreaker behemoth. And I'll try gargantuan foil. Uh, we don't really have any fixing here, so we'll just take the cat. No. Uh, looks like another dead shot. Which is unfortunate because then I could have had the other card that I didn't pick over it. Um, 
A 1-1 one, one seems okay. But I'm playing Heavy Asper against Heavy Asper. It'll be fine. Look at all these. So ridiculous. Not very much left. So we'll just take this. Probably won't play it. Cool. We got that back. Got that at the table. I don't understand why people don't like flurry of wings. Seems like it might be okay. This might be good with all the five power dudes that we have. Probably not, but we'll see. I'll take the dude that kills things for us. Not much removal, not much fixing. We have three fixing. Uh, both of these are terrible. We'll play the forest. We won't play the other two, and neither will the other people. <laughs> Who knows?